So I thought I'd do a video on MRDs for local anesthesia. Uh, I've had a lot of students um, who don't really get it. And to be honest, I did not either. I went through dental hygiene school. I had a crash course on it. I think we had maybe a week or two to understand it. And uh, it's not the easiest thing to wrap your head around in a week or two. So I'm going to try and give you a broad overview um, and then simplify a lot of the formulas. So I really think you only need about one or two formulas that you need to memorize and one or two numbers. And beyond that, you just need the charts uh, published by, I assume, the FDA um, or whoever the manufacturer of these drugs is. So unless you have those charts, you really can't do the math because they determine what the MRD absolute values are for different anesthetics and by weight and all that. So um, to start out, uh, we're really talking about three different things. We're talking about absolute MRD. We're talking about MRD by weight. This is the weight of the patient. And these are both local anesthetic, but then we're also talking about epinephrine MRD. Please excuse my handwriting. Um, now, absolute MRD, you just look it up. It's usually listed by milligrams. Uh, by weight, um, they're going to list in America, you know, we use pounds per milligram. Sorry, Britain. Um, and then epinephrine. Uh, we'll do some calculations there. But the formula that um, I kind of broke two different formulas into one simplified one. Um, and you'll have to excuse <laughs> uh, the math because for any mathematicians, it's not extremely accurate, but it cuts to the chase. Um, so what we're looking at is really the drug uh, multiplied by pounds. So this will be the drug listed by weight. So milligrams per pound, and then the patient's pounds, all over 18 times the percentage. Um, this 18 comes from 1.8 times 10, and then times the percentage, and this is gonna get you how much uh, milligrams are in each carpule, but I'm just simplifying everything. So if you just remember the drug from the chart multiplied by the patient's weight, and then all of that over 18 times the percentage, it's gonna get you the MRD by weight. Um, beyond that, over here on the epinephrine side, we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna call this one over epinephrine K times 1.8 milliliters per carpule, as we all know. And that's just gonna tell you how much epinephrine is in each uh, carpule. So easiest way is just take an example of this. Oh, but before I get there, uh, just one other thing you have to memorize, um, and that's healthy patients versus heart disease patients. Um, and that's dealing with epinephrine. So uh, the numbers aren't that hard to memorize. There's only two of them. So for healthy patients, I'll put a little heart there. Uh, it's going to be 0 0.2 milligrams. And for unhealthy patients, I'll put a little, I don't know, maybe a black heart. It's going to be 0 0.04 milligrams. Um, and that's it. I mean, if you can memorize this, plug in the numbers, you can figure out pretty much any problem they throw at you. There's some that are more complicated. I won't go into those as much because um, I'm just going over the basics. Um, and then to give you an idea of what the charts look like, you know, so here we have uh, pediatric patients, uh, normal healthy patients, um, and then also on this chart, uh, they're giving you the vasoconstrictor epinephrine, but I'm actually calculating that, so I'll show you that formula. 
and yeah, more calculations on epinephrine on the bottom. But we really need the top of the chart because unless I don't know anyone who actually has this memorized. Uh, but let's just use lidocaine, two uh, percent, really straightforward. And just looking at our chart here at the top, it says 3.2 milligrams per pound with a 500 milligram absolute. So 500 is our absolute. Um, to do by weight, we're going to have to do our math over here. So let's take that 3.2. milligrams per pound and we're going to multiply it by however much our patient weighs so uh let's say they weigh 100 or let's go big let's say they weigh 300 pounds why not um that'll make it interesting so we put all this over 18 and we're using standard lidocaine two percent two percent that's a pound. My handwriting sucks. Okay, so let's crunch these numbers real quick. 3.2 times 300. And make sure you do the top first and then the bottom. Don't mix your math. So we have 960 all over. And then 18 times 2. And... You know, like I said before, I'm calling this percent because we just throw it in there as 2%. Don't move the decimal or anything. This might confuse some people who are good at math. Please bear with me. And what does that equal? 960 divided by 36 is 26.6. So that is your carpools. So this is the maximum recommended dose for a patient that weighs 300 pounds, and that is in carpules. So what are these other numbers? So I want you to look at this part and value it. So if this is carpules, this is the milligrams. So this is actually the MRD in milligrams, which makes this guy down here the milligrams per carpule. So sometimes uh, these formulas are split up. I'm just throwing them all together and I'm wrapping them all together here. Um, but that's a really, that's a lot of carpules. Uh, so if we look at 960 milligrams is our absolute for a patient that weighs 300 pounds. Well, if we look over here, we've exceeded that. So we refer back to the absolute. You always go with the lowest number. Um, but we've only checked two things. We checked absolute MRD and we checked MRD by patient weight, but we still need to check how much epinephrine uh, we can give this person. And we have to make sure that that also um, is not in excess. So we're gonna assume that they are, oh, let's say unhealthy. So we'll say they have heart disease. So they're 300 pounds, heart disease, and we don't know yet if we can go up to 500 milligrams or not. Probably not if they have heart disease, but let's find out. So if it's one to 100 epi, uh, we just put it in our little formula over here. So one over 100 K. Again, don't get mad at me mathematicians. I know that actually means thousand, but I'm cutting out a lot of the math. So if we do that math, we're basically just moving the decimal point to over. So 0 0.018 milligrams is how much epi uh, is in each carpule of 1 to 100k epi. So that's that other formula I made you memorize, the epi formula. You know, if you're using one to 200K, it's gonna be uh, half that, right? Uh, one to 50, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so 
Where do we go from here? <laughs> so we have a heart disease patient. Uh, they cannot exceed 0.04 milligrams. We just figured out there's 0 0.018 milligrams of epi in our copyrolls. So if we take 0 0.04 milligrams, which is our absolute epi, and divide by 0 0.018 Eight. Let's see what we get. Two point two two carpules. So let's look at it all. Okay, so we got an absolute MRD of 500 milligrams. We have a weight MRD of 26.6 carpules, also known as 90, 960 milligrams. So we know it can't be this guy because we went way, way above the absolute MRD. Um, but then we have this epi MRD because we have to check this definitely because it's heart disease patient. Um, and we have 2.2 carpules. So this is in carpules, but this is in milligrams. So how do we figure out how many milligrams of the anesthetic is that is? We can go back to this nice formula. So even if you're only doing one of the formulas, I recommend doing them all because we're going to go back here and we're going to take 2.22 carpules and how do we go back in the milligrams? We're going to multiply by that bottom number. So 2.22 times 36 milligrams in each carpule. And we have 79, come on pen, 0.92 milligrams. So, 2.2 carpules is the same as 79.92 milligrams of our drug. That is the lowest number. Because they're a heart disease patient, we have to go by epi MRD, because even the absolute MRD would be too high. And if we went by the patient weight, not only would we give them like a heart attack, I mean, we they would just, they would not be good. Um, <laughs> but um, I wanted to kind of break this down. And whenever you're going from epi to a local anesthetic, I really recommend um, going to carps. Because if you're, if we look over here, if I were to start confusing my milligrams here and my milligrams here, you start mixing things up. But if this is in carpules and this is in carpules, you can start mixing things. And that's why when I took 2.2 carpules and went over and used this formula, it worked. Because um, I was just using that part of the formula that tells me how much of the drug, lidocaine, is in each carpule. I don't know if that makes sense, um, but I hope it does. Um, so just a review. Whenever you're asking about drugs, you're looking at absolute, which is listed just in the chart. You're looking at the MRD by weight. You're looking at epi MRD. And the things you have to memorize, really, well, you don't have to memorize the absolute MRD. That's just listed by the drug company. But you should be doing the little formula where you take whatever number is in the chart the weight listed in the chart, which would be pound milligrams per pound. Find out the patient's weight in pounds. Put that all over 18 times the, uh, what do we say? Uh, percent. So lidocaine would be two. Um, something like septicaine would be four, right? And this is going to get you your MRD 
for uh, the patient's weight. And then over here to review, we said that epi is going to be one over the epi times 1.8. And this will tell you whatever epi you're using, one over 100, for example, times 1.8 will tell you how much epi is in each carpule of 1 to 100K lidocaine or whatever. Um, and then again, you still have to memorize heart disease. So healthy patient, 0.2. Um, and then unhealthy patient, 0.04. And that is it. Um, I hope that helps. I don't know. I tried to simplify it because there's a lot of videos out there that they do a lot of math and I think the math could be just simplified um, and kind of dumbed down.